so whether it is the gods the demons the humans whoever everybody needs to worship ganpati before beginning something new so i we begin pujas with ganpati prayers yes yes i had a slightly chakra oriented view point when it came to this logic as well so in certain meditations that were taught in the world of kriya one of those is related to your lowest chakra mm-hmm. where you just focus on feeling your lowest chakra and visualizing that a stream of light is flowing through your body and going deep into the ground and playing with the rocks inside the earth and if you truly immerse yourself in that meditation you genuinely feel a uh, calming sensations in your hips yes. right but over the years of studying kriya uh, and studying chakras i came across this aspect of ganpati being the lord of the lowest chakra right I wonder if the two things are linked in terms of when you pray to Ganpati obviously your lower chakra is getting a little more stabilized and through that stabilization of your lower chakra you're able to focus on even deeper pujas yes and ganpati you know he's if you, if you see his symbolism you know um, he is a deity who loves indulging in the senses right he's he's pot bellied right? <laughs>